Okay, I think it's recording. So Andrea, I will let you, uh, Andrea, yeah, I'll let you take it away. Okay. Hi, my name is Andrea Poland, and I am here with Chloe from Chloe's Money Tips for Kids. We are here on behalf of the Smart Woman, Smart Money magazine. We are super excited to have the opportunity to an interview Kentucky treasurer, Allison Ball. Welcome, treasurer. Thank you. It's great to be here with you. Well, Chloe just has a few questions that she is going to ask about your side hustle that you had when you were in elementary school. So, Chloe, I'll let you go ahead and get started. Hi, treasurer. Thank you for making time to meet, meet with me today. I am so excited to hear about your side hustle. My first question is, how old were you when you started your business and why did you decide to get started? Oh, great questions. Well, Chloe, I was nine when I started my business and I'll tell you the reason why I started it. So my mom and dad really wanted me to learn some money principles and they thought that giving me an allowance was a good idea. They thought, okay, great. Allison will learn how to save and uh, she'll learn that if you just wait for things, then you can buy more expensive things. I thought this was a great idea. So they gave me an allowance that was $5 a week. It was $20 a month. And I thought, this is all the money I'll ever need. This is great. But I did not learn to save at all. In fact, I was terrible with my money. I spent it as soon as I got it. I wasn't careful at all. And then my parents thought, we need to rethink this. This isn't working. So they came up to me and they said, Allison, we've decided to stop giving you an allowance because you're not learning what we want you to learn. And I was really upset, as you can imagine. I bet you'd be upset too, right? If this happened yeah. to you. Well, I was really upset. And so I pouted and I kept telling mom and dad they needed to give me my allowance again. And there was stuff I wanted to buy. And um, I really thought that I was being treated very unfairly. And then at some point I realized my parents were not going to change their mind. So if I was going to be able to buy some stuff I wanted to buy, because there were things I wanted to buy, right? Uh, I actually, I liked comic books back then and video games and different things I wanted. And I love stuffed animals. So there was stuff I wanted to buy and I decided, well, I'm gonna have to earn some money. So I started a business. It's the side hustle you talked about. I started Positive Pencils International. So I know you know what that means. I was thinking really big. I was thinking this is gonna be a worldwide business. And I designed pencils that had positive sayings. Like, I'm a winner, believe in yourself, you can do it. Different things to motivate people. And I sold them for 25 cents each or four for a dollar. So, you know, it was not a great deal, but hey, I thought if I told people to get four for a dollar, they're probably going to buy at least a dollar's worth, and that was better. So my first week of selling my pencils, and this is uh, early 90s, so I was nine years old. I didn't have social media. I didn't have Facebook, Instagram, anything like that, so I had to actually go up to people to sell my pencils. Well, the first week, I worked really, really, really hard, and I sold my pencils to everyone that I could, you know, classmates, mom and dad, friends, family, anybody I could, neighbors. And by the end of the first week, do you want to guess how much money I made? $12 to $13? <laughs> That's a great guess. I made, this is profit, I made $200. Wow. And I thought, oh my goodness, I thought my mom and dad were right. I, I couldn't believe how much more money I could earn if I was working myself. So I learned a lot of things that lesson. I learned about free enterprise and hard work and how... You know, if you do your own thing, you can make so much more than if you're just waiting on a paycheck or something like that for somebody else. And I also learned exactly what my parents were hoping for. I learned the value of money because after that, everything I wanted to buy, I thought, well, how many pencils does that take? I would calculate like how many 25 cents is that? And it made me save my money. It made me be careful. And I kept my business all the way until I went to college and then I sold it to my younger brother. So it ended up being a successful business and I used it to buy a horse when I got older. I used it, I actually saved some money for college. I, I really began to be really smart with my money all because my parents stopped giving me an allowance and I had to earn some money. So uh, that's what I did when I was nine years old. That's really cool. My second question is how did you decide who your target audience would be? What was your sales strategy? Oh, what a great question. Well, so I was nine, so I was a kid, and I, do you still use pencils in school? It depends. Some kids don't, some kids do. You use pencils? Um, I usually use pencils. Good. Okay, great. You still use pencils. Well, all of my friends in school still use pencils, and we like to have cool pencils. You know, we didn't want to just have yellow pencils, 
So I knew my friends would probably like this. And as I got to thinking about it, I thought, you know what? I bet you other moms and dads who have kids or aunts and uncles, they might know kids too who would also like to have pencils. So I thought about like, what would I like? What do my friends like? And that's what I came up with with pencils. And it wasn't so expensive that I couldn't buy these pencils to begin with and invest in it because that was key too. I had to be able to buy the product to be able to sell it. Um, so my market was me and my friends like me and parents who would buy them. And of course, you know, my big selling time was back to school or Christmas. They made great stocking stuffers. So I really made sure like, these are really good time for you to load up on pencils and you can be ready for the whole year. Um, so I think that was a two part question. That was the first part of the question. I think your second part was what was the strategy, right? Yeah. Okay, so I wanted people to buy lots of pencils, and that's why I told them buy four for a dollar. <laughs> and then as I got a little bit better, I'd say people would ask me, is there another special? And I'd say, well, how about the eight for two dollars? But eventually, eventually I did actually have a deal. There would be 144 pencils in a box, and I would sell them for $32. And those were my jackpot ones. Those are the ones where I really felt like I'd made it really well. So if somebody was a teacher, or if they were involved in a camp or something like that, I would say, hey, you're gonna save some money if you buy a whole box. So I was really always trying to get people to buy lots if I could. Uh, and I would start to figure out people who were teachers and people who had camps or VBS or something like that. And then I would know, okay, these are people I can go to regularly. That's really cool. Um, my third question is what's, what lessons did your pencil business teach, teach you that made a lasting impact? Oh, great question. Well, I think I've already kind of told you a little bit about how impactful it was because it taught me about owning a business and how great it is to own your own business. And then I learned how, how valuable it is for other people to own businesses. I also learned about you know, saving my money. I learned about the value of a dollar. And I, I think a really big takeaway is that I learned that even though I was a kid, I could accomplish something. I didn't have to wait until I was a grown up to, to do something. And that lesson I think was really good for me for, for my whole life because when I ran for office, I was the youngest woman in the whole country to win a statewide elected office. And I was the youngest woman for three years. So I was, I was pretty young when I ran the first time. I'm still kind of young. Um, and I think because of that, because I had this experience as a kid, I was doing a, a grown up type thing. I was running a business. I thought, you know what? I can do something. I don't have to wait until a later point to do it. So that's a few different lessons. That's a, that's a number of different things that I learned, but they were all really good lessons and I've kept them my whole life. And I think I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to teach my little boy who's only two lessons like this too, as he gets bigger to pass that along. Um, my last question is what advice would you give to kids considering starting their own business or side hustling? Oh, I would say do it. I think it's a great idea, do it. Uh, you learn a lot. It's really fun. You make friends with people. Uh, I highly, highly encourage it. And I tell you what, being a kid and starting a business is a great time to do it because a lot of people are going to buy stuff from you just because you're a kid, because they want to encourage you. They want to help you. Uh, they believe in your future. They want to help you learn lessons. So you've got a great time right now to start taking advantage of the fact that you are a kid and people want to help you. So I say go for it. Uh, there's all kinds of businesses you can do. I had friends who start uh, who started mowing lawns, and that was a great business for them. I've got friends who were babysitters. I've got friends who would make bracelets. You know, there's all sorts of things that you can do. There's two girls that are up in Louisville, in the state where I'm from, and they both started a lemonade business in the mall, and they actually won a national competition for the best lemonade stand in the country. Wow. And, and they were only, I think, about 13 years old each. So that's pretty neat. Uh, and they they got so good at it. They've sell, and they now sell lemon themed merchandise like socks and uh, you know different things you can wear that all have lemons on them. So uh, I say go for it. It's a great thing to do. You'll learn a lot, and and it's just a very rewarding experience. Cool. Thank you for letting us speak with you. Well, you're welcome, Chloe. This was great. I had a wonderful time with you. I've read some of your work in Smart Women, Smart, Smart Money magazine, and I'm very impressed. I'm very proud of you. You're doing a great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it was great to see you. I hope I get to meet you in person someday. Same. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like you had a lot going on as a kid that's helped you be successful. 
just like Chloe. Yes, that's right. These are these are good lessons for a kid, right? This is a great time to learn these things. Well, thank you very much for meeting with us. We appreciate your time. Well, it's my pleasure and just so proud of Chloe and enjoyed doing it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.